everyone welcome back to youtube with irene where i help you grow your channel from the start and today i'm going to be giving you tips on how to make your thumbnails look more attracting so you can get more clicks and more views and potentially subscribers also i'm going to be showing you how i make my thumbnails like what kind of apps i use and how i kind of color correct them and other things like that so if you are interested in learning how to make thumbnails and tips for those make sure to stay tuned so I'll start off with the tips and then move on to how I actually make my thumbnails. So the first tip I have is to use visuals. Use any kind of images that you can just pop up on the screen and they're kind of noticeable and related to your video, of course. So I had one recent video actually kind of blow up. It will it did very well compared to other videos because I think it's because of the visuals. So for example, it was a K-pop audition tips video and I had all of the companies you can audition for on the thing. I'll put the thumbnail up here. And that was just attracting to people because they want to know which kind of companies to audition for and things like that. So make sure you have related images on the thumbnail. For example, if it's a room tour, make sure you show the end of the room tour, like your actual room, instead of having the text room tour on the thumbnail, because that's not going to make people click on the video. First of all, they don't know what's going to be in the video, because a thumbnail is essentially describing what's going to be in your video, how your video is actually going to be, and like the quality of it. So if you have really bad thumbnails where like YouTube suggests these like three thumbnails where they're like, like that and those are so bad because they're going to say to your audience that your thumbnail is low quality so the video will probably be low quality when i actually make my thumbnails i actually do poses so like these like earlier i just did them and i just choose the ones that i like the most that seem the most suitable and best looking if your channel is one of those channels that show your faces like mine make sure to have a close-up of your face because for some reason people like faces more than just text even if you're actually not showing yourself and other people on the thumbnail that's totally fine as long as it's a face they'll click on it it's just a weird thing maybe it's just psychology that people are more attracted to people than just random things i guess also have a very vibrant expression so if it's supposed to be like one of those sad videos then you want to have a sad expression that really connects with your viewers and say if it's those like challenge videos you're going to be like oh! or if it's like those workout videos like crazy results you want to show your face like and then maybe like the before and after like that's just an idea of thumbnails that you can choose from for the one video that really blew up overnight, like I literally woke up to see thousands and thousands of views and comments. That video blew up because I had a really interesting expression. I was like going like, like something like that. I don't remember. I'll put it up here, but it was very interesting. But not only the thumbnail, also the title. I have a video about ranking in search where I explain more about um, titles and how that helps um, get more views and get more audience to watch her videos but anyways expression is so important because that's what really tells your viewers oh my god when i watch this video i'm going to be sad with them or i'm going to be happy along with them your audience is watching because they want something out of you i feel like i've repeated this multiple times if it's informational videos it's kind of hard to have an expression but if it's like one of those entertainment videos you want to show yourself doing something entertaining that makes people want to click on and kind of tease them for what's going to be in the video again if you use your face in your videos then you want to have really good lighting um rather than camera quality i personally believe that lightning is so much more important if you're in like this really dark room where you can't like see the person they're not going to watch it because um visual is really important for people these days um visual has always been important on it honestly you want to have nice visuals because that's what's appealing you know the aesthetic and all People like aesthetic things, people like visually appealing things, so make sure you have really good lightning. I've actually never tried this before, but my ring light is all the way over there, so I was too lazy to grab it. So I had my best stand lamp like this. It's turned on right now, so, you know, obviously it's facing me. I think this is a pretty good way to film my videos, but otherwise, I usually film in the daylight. I feel like daylight is so much better, especially when you're filming your thumbnails. Make sure you go to your window. Like, here's my window. Right now, it's dark. But go to your window and then take the thumbnail because the lighting is going to be so much better. It looks a lot less artificial, definitely. It, there's a difference between natural light and artificial light so much. 
and natural light is so much better. So try to film um, in the day and if you can't then try to film your thumbnails in the day. If not, there are other ways you can do this like per se a ring light or, or a bedstand lamp, anything like that. This is actually like a table lamp, anything you can find that has really good lightning I would definitely recommend. A lot of my most popular videos have my face on it and has amazing lightning and I feel like that's kind of part of the reason why it kind of blew up because the thumbnail seemed appealing to them and the lightning just everything worked well. Like my most popular video, I feel like this is more related to lightning than the actual thumbnail part but the lightning was so good like I don't even know why. The lightning made it seem like my camera was really good. I was using my iPhone 6 guys, 6 and that was so good and if you watch the video again you can definitely tell that it looks really high quality because of the lightning it was so freaking hot that day i like keep i like kept repeating that it was hot it was so hot but it was definitely worth it because it got like what 50k views <laughs> and the fourth tip is to have some text as well when you're having those kind of visuals like i said you also want a text so it can go on the side or on the top of the thumbnail my limitation to these text things are like about five words because I've tried the, these text things so many times. I've, what I've learned throughout the years is throughout one year actually, but what I've learned throughout one year is that you don't want to have too much text, especially if it's small, they aren't going to read that. Most people are watching on their phones, so it's going to be extremely tiny. They're not going to see the actual text, just your face. So I feel like visuals are more important than text. Say it's like how I lost 10 kilograms, you want to have like some text that's appealing and fitting for your video. Maybe in between you could be like, oh, like that, like, oh my god. And then that's like the before, so you could add before, and then you could add the before picture of your weight loss journey, and then you can have after on here, and then the after picture of your weight loss journey. Things like that is just really good because it shows that this isn't like clickbait and you've actually lost weight. And also these before after things are commonly used, not even just YouTube, but I feel like even in ads, um, weight loss ads, like things like that. You kind of want like clickbait videos. I don't mean like have a amazing thumbnail, but the video itself is actually crap and you say nothing related to weight loss. I'm not saying that, but make thumbnails that are almost too good to be true. If they see really drastic changes from like before to after, for example, they're definitely going to click on because they want that too. I feel like that's why they, they would search up how to lose weight or how I started losing 10 kilograms in a month. Like, you know, something like that. And number five is cohesive. So this is not just one thumbnail, but your channel thumbnails itself. If I go to my other channel and scroll down, they're all cohesive. Why? Because they all have that thumbnail style. And I do this in two ways, font and color. So the font I use is usually the same. Sometimes I'll switch it up depending on my mood, but it's always this pink border that I have. And also for this channel, it's like a purple border. Anyways, it's like this kind of pink actually, but I have this pink border, which it makes it so neat. And it, you just immediately know it's my video from the pink border and the text. It just seems so familiar all together. Of course, if it's like the same text, the same expression, the same before, after, kind of thumbnail it's gonna be super boring and people are gonna know that you're just repeating the same thing you're just reusing the same content and they do not like that they're going to unsubscribe if they once start to see that all of your videos are starting to sound the same be the same you're giving the same information things like that they're definitely going to unsubscribe from you so i do not recommend doing this too many times like overusing it but the cohesion part i really like please do not go ahead and put all of the all of like borders on your videos this is just my style um it's kind of copying right <laughs> but this is my style it's how i like to do it i know some people have like the same expression like they literally reuse the same expression just change up the text so i think cohesion is nice once you just don't overdo it here are the five tips i have to making your thumbnail from now on i'm going to be showing you guys how i actually make my thumbnails so i will be doing a voiceover Thank you so much for watching guys. If you haven't subscribed already, make sure to do so because I'm still a growing channel, yay. And I only have like what, four, three videos? Four videos now. Yeah, thank you so much for watching guys. I really appreciate all of your 
um, time for being here. Do you decide to change up your thumbnails? It's never too late because YouTube allows you to edit your videos over time. Even your titles, even your thumbnails, they can be switched up. So if you find a video of yours that has really good potential but it's not blowing up for you and you're wondering why, I think it's time for you to switch up your thumbnails. Make sure they are everything that I said in this video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye! By the way, do you guys like my hair like this? I like could not decide on a hairstyle. I tried so many different hairstyles. I like did the ponytail and then I tried and I tried everything, but I like this. Like I like how cute it is. I just did a scrunchie. I just did a scrunchie and yeah. Tell me what you think. Bye. <laughs>